Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today, we are going to be doing the best Tuscan garlic chicken. And this is an Olive Garden copycat recipe. And y'all, we are going to be doing pasta from scratch again. So good. So easy with that tender chicken, wilted Spanish, and then wouldn't be Olive Garden without a salad. Let's go. So we're starting with the pasta. And, um, it's just simple, all-purpose flour. And then we have some eggs that are room temperature, salt, and then olive oil, of course. And then I'll have some water. So I am doubling my recipe because we love pasta from scratch here. So um, I will put half this in the description with the measurements. So toss everything into the bowl, create a well in your flour, of course, and just use your hands, clean hands, and mix this up. While I'm doing that, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not already, of course. But and for those who have, thank y'all so, so much for the support. And shout out to my fellow creators. Hey, y'all. So as always, mix it up until it starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl. And then you're going to just knead it on a clean surface until it's smooth and patted into a ball. So I'm just going to divide this up into small pieces. It doesn't have to be any special um, sizes or anything, but just small enough that we can uh, run it through our pasta maker. So y'all, I ran across this drying rack at Target. It was three bucks, so we're going to test it out. So dust your pasta maker. I will put a link in the description to one. Um, this is old, but um, just run in one of your balls. Use lots of flour so it doesn't stick. And then I'm just going to adjust the dial. So I did a setting of six, four, and then three. Now run it through, and you don't want it to be too thin, okay, because it will fall apart. So once you have your sheet, I'm just going to divide it into the length of noodles that you um, desire. And then I'm going to swap it around and run it through the fettuccine cutter. So um, just put that in and then out comes your noodles. And I tried to tip this so you can see it, but neither here nor there. It comes out and there you go. So I just used up all of my little slits from my drying rack. And then of course I had some extra. Make sure you dust this with flour so it stays dry and separate it. And then we'll cook that um, later. So on the chicken, I have some boneless skinless chicken breast that we're going to clean up. And then for my um, batter, I'm going to do uh, just all-purpose flour and breadcrumbs. And then olive oil, and then some pepper, salt, and then grated parmesan, red pepper, lots and lots of garlic, fresh spinach, heavy cream, below butter, you can't see it. And then the uh, some fancy wine, y'all. Uh, just some Chardonnay that was $5, okay? So I am just going to clean up my chicken breasts. Um, all the little creepy little pieces, cut those off. We want a trimmed breast to work with, okay? So um, again, remove those little pieces. I keep the tender attached and then always fat side and then I'm gonna split these into um, a split breast and look at how beautiful those are and so again start with the fat side down and split them into a ziplock I'm gonna put two of the um, pieces and just mallet just pound them out until they're tender not too much until you punch a hole so if you're in a mood mm, might just hold off on this okay so simple seasoning salt and pepper that is it okay trust me on this y'all you know I like to season but just salt and pepper then I'm just gonna add a little paprika to the flour and breadcrumb mixture and we're just gonna dip that there's not any wet batter in this just flour mixture and that's all make sure to squeeze it in get into those crevices and then onto your sheet just to allow that flour to absorb and then we're ready to fry them and so again chicken breast takes a little bit longer but we have split these and pounded it not long chop up your vegetables make sure you're checking your chicken and then we're gonna make a quick salad so Olive Garden dressing is available I've got this from Costco Sam's and then um, the pepperoni peppers I'm using rings cuz that's what we had in the refrigerator aroma tomato red onion of course olives croutons and that's it so flip your chicken and look at those look at how beautiful those look already 
So just chopping up your veggies for your salad and look at that. You have Olive Garden at home. So removing this and um, y'all just FYI, there's only about half an inch of oil in there, not a lot. So I'm just sauteing those uh, slivers of garlic, lots and lots of garlic because this after all is Tuscan garlic chicken. And throw in your peppers and cut, just cook those down until they start to saute and get soft. And then toss in your fresh spinach and this will cook down. And so once it starts to wilt like so, then we're just gonna go ahead and add in our salt, pepper, and then a half a cup of wine and flour just to thicken it up. So again, the seasoning is super, super easy, you guys. And let me tell y'all, I don't mess with this. Olive Garden used to have this recipe posted on their website. And I happen to keep a copy of it. And it is so, so it tastes just like it. Look, this brings it back. So I'm just going to add a couple of pieces into that sauce. And we're going to um, dress our salad. So pour in as much or as little as you like. I love this dressing. So it's swimming, y'all. Okay. So toss the salad up a little bit. And then we're just going to serve you a bowl. I'm going to fix you guys up, y'all. And then on top of that pasta, um, you just scoop out your, your sauce. And then put um, a piece of chicken. And on those noodles, literally 30 seconds in boiling water and out okay fresh pasta does not take long at all on the chicken I'm cutting across the grain and then just gonna slice that up and then we're gonna throw that on top of that other piece and I'm gonna add in a little bit more sauce on top of that because the more sauce the better you do not want dry pasta okay so here we go and uh, as always at Olive Garden I'm gonna give you a free sample of the house wine that $4.99 makes you feel fine I don't drink this, y'all. I just cooked with it. And you want Parmesan on your salad? Okay. Just tell me when. And on your dish, would you like some Parmesan? Tell me when. How about now? How about now? <laughs> yeah, so I like a lot of cheese, y'all. I had to stop myself just, you know. But here you go, you guys. This is the outcome. And when I tell you guys, this tastes just like it is so good. I wouldn't lie to y'all. But here you go. I know what you guys want. And I'm just going to spin that fresh pasta. Y'all, nothing beats fresh homemade pasta from scratch. But let me shut up, y'all. Here you go. There you go, baby. Going to take that bite. Mm, so good. You guys have to try this recipe. Make your pasta from scratch. It is worth it. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. And don't forget to subscribe and also show your support by watching the entire video. It helps out so much. And don't forget to like this video. Also, new recipes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And for those who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time in my new video. Bye, y'all.